Ja. <laughs> Yo, what's up, guys? <laughs> Welcome back to the Scrub Cup, the B-Sides tournament of Netherlands versus Belgium. Today, I have three special guests because this match, this match was something. I have some eyes here. Yo, what's up? Jeroen van de Tempel. Sup. And Dion Nonnekes. Hey. Um, how do I call you guys? <laughs> Three very good players. <laughs> um, none of these players are on the Scrub Cup, but uh, I honestly, this this duel, this has to be shared with you guys, with, with like other people as well, because this was so much it fun. It shouldn't. It so, shouldn't be shared. It should not be shared. It, it, you shouldn't share the spice. The this spice. is some cursed content. Uh, hide both hands. So, yeah, where do we start, honestly? So, um, we have from Team Belgium, Marco? Rem, Rem, Remco. 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 They're all co's. We have Remco from Team Belgium in the top here. And on the bottom, we have Bo from Team Netherlands to... Um, yeah, these are not well-known players. <laughs> they are specifically searched out for the Scrub Cup and they are going to perform quite the amazing <laughs> entertainment for us. <laughs> <It's something. laughs> do, do I reveal the hands? Oh shit, you can see it. Ooh. Oh no. Oh no, Just I spoiled show it. Hand, show the hands. Okay. Show hand. We're gonna start with Bo. Bo is playing the deck. <laughs> <laughs> you made it popular, it's your own fault. Hey, I mean, hey. this hand is sick. Yeah. You know what's, what's <clears throat> really terrible? He's not playing it because of me. He's not even playing my list at all. He's playing his own list and I, I saw it and oh my god, it's something. Uh, he said he needed something. So before we start going into the duel, let's have a quick disclaimer here. Uh, both of these players are two excellent per persons. I really... There are two really great sports for participating in this tournament. Uh, this video is not to, you know, go after someone or make fun of someone. It's just that it's going to be really funny and really difficult not to laugh about what we are going to see in a bit. Um, that's it, like, for, uh, coming from Bo. Bo was taking the tournament very seriously, so he picked a uh, tier 1 deck. Um, <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> uh, Remco hasn't played for a while, so his deck uh, was a little bit different. Think. Say yeah, least, you uh, can say that. Yeah. He was asked for this tournament, and he uh, said that he uh, did not expect uh, any good decks. Um, for some reason, he did not check out what the previous players were playing. But sure. So on the bottom here, uh, from Team Netherlands, Bo, we are having some plunder patrol. We have the shipyard, and we have the booty. So this is pretty much all he needs. And on the top hand, to me. <laughs> so he's he's playing fifty two cards in 53. the main deck. Oh, fifty two. You're right. I can't count. Yeah, this is um, sacred beast control, I believe. Uh, we we have it's a Uria. Yeah. Um, Uriel summons himself from the hand by sending three phases of trap cards from your field to the grave. We have a Graffer. Uh, we have a Mystic Tomato. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Fallen Paradise. Your opponents cannot target Yuria Lord of This would have been handy. <laughs> Your opponents cannot yeah. target Yuria. Uh, Hamon Ravio with card effects. Also, this monster cannot be destroyed by opponents' card effects while you control them. If you control, you can draw two cards. So you can draw two cards each turn? What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> it's broken. That's, that's Three really, for the creed. That's really strong with a card from back in the day. Uh, Chaos Phantom, if any of you know that <laughs> card. So now it's obvious why he plays uh, 52 cards, because you draw your whole deck. Exactly. It's easy. <laughs> yeah. um, so I'm just going to start off with this, because then, then you will see what we saw. So he just set two cards, and he passed turn. What what if you're if you're playing just something? What does that mean to you? Is it like an Altergeist deck that has bricked, or is it Subterra that has bricked? Yeah, normally you think like those decks, like trap decks, but then you think about the fact that he's playing fifty-two cards, so it can yeah. be like 
a dark warrior combo deck that just bricks something like that. I thought it was Paleozoic yeah. at this point. Yeah, exactly, something like that. Like Eldritch as well as you've seen some lists like between 50 and 60 cards you just stack in frogs and paleo cards and just a whole bunch of traps and those decks are actually kind of good but i don't know how good sacred beast can be <laughs> i'm pretty just sure i'm it's pretty sure no one knows <laughs> so <laughs> a bow is starting off its turn and he's just going to go straight to the shipyard discarding a card no negates no responses um, summoning Whitebeard, summoning the Bluebeard from his hand because he summons. He has another Plunder Patrol. Uh, linking away to Blackbeard, a Whitebeard effect in the grave, summoning Redbeard. If you have not picked up on this deck yet, <laughs> then <laughs> I'm not going to explain anything Don't do anymore. It. So uh, Blackbeard attacks a face down monster. So at this point, what do you expect? You know. So. Um, we're gonna see some interesting stuff real quick. It's Mystic Tomato, <laughs> which was the grand reveal for us in the chat. Uh, I guess we have we have a couple of watchers. So I was losing my mind at this point. I mean, normally you see this and like, what can he actually summon from Mystic Tomato? I don't know the targets that are uh, normally summoned by him. You bell. <laughs> yeah. My God. Um. Another yeah. Mystic Tomato? Another Mystic oh, Tomato. Yeah, good one. <laughs> <laughs> no, that would that would have been sick. So um, you have two tomatoes and you can almost make a so it's kinda good. Then uh P activates crackdown in the damage tap on Redbeard yeah. for reasons unknown. Um so you can he can't and he's informed. Uh, summoning dark summoning beast from the deck. You could you read this card, special summon one Yuria from your hand, ignoring its summoning conditions? <laughs> what? what the fuck? Also, monsters you control cannot attack for the rest of this turn. You can only use the effect of Dark Summoning Beast once per turn. You can banish this card from the grave, add one of the monsters to your hand. A pretty good card. Um, so it has to be an attack. Which will be switched in a bit. Oh, we're skipping. I thought he was switching it earlier. So he activates Crackdown on the... Redbeard, uh, which is kind of a weird thing to do, uh, because if you just read the card, then you know it will take itself out. But sure, I believe he just wants this thing to survive, <coughs> but it's it's not gonna happen anyway. So it's that I don't know. This crackdown is very questionable. Yeah, I think this is just a case of um, not knowing. Uh, yeah, Remco not not playing often and. Uh, not knowing what the deck does. What Shout the out does. to Team Hermelijn, uh, which is the team <laughs> <I'm cursing. laughs> You know who else is in that team? Max van fucking Neighbors Hill and Kim van Kampout. Yeah. Two of the um, best players I know, but also Remco. <laughs> the, the third best duelist I know, honestly. I have... <laughs> I have so much respect for this guy picking this up. So um, he chains and things get done, and it has to, it switches to attack because he has to. And I do not believe that at a certain point in this duel, the correct attack value is deducted from his life points. <laughs> that doesn't matter. So he has to draw for Blackbeard, which he forgot because we're both scrub duelists. <laughs> <laughs> Beside duelists, he's just picking up. It's a finish chain. I'm just gonna show both hands because it's getting awkward. So he picks up finish chain here. <laughs> if you're playing finish chain, so, he's getting closer to summoning Uria. That's yeah. True. <laughs> uh, twin but just, um, both but the cards. just 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 imagine, right? That um, that other thing on the field survived. Then he could have made the Uria with the, also the field spell. That would have been like the setup, right? The full combo. Yeah, if you just deck. summon summon this, it quirks. if you summon this monster, tribute it, summon one, draw two, and then you draw your protective traps, then hundred percent I agree that this deck is playable. With the right consistency cards like Extravagance, which we know he is playing as well. But for some reason he's playing fifty two cards. Yeah. Like you you know 
right? You you know exactly that that's not good, right? You you have to know it. It doesn't matter how good of a player you are. At a certain point, you realize it. Yeah, um, it's I, called I, scrub cup for a reason. I, I know, guess. but like, like I don't want to disrespect anyone, of course, but. That's getting difficult, each two <laughs> cards that's being activated. Um, yeah, well, he used to play, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, I believe so. Like, I do not yeah. know him, but he is in but Team Hermelang. Still, which back is a... in the day, you also played 40 cards. Back in the day, it was heresy if you did not. Like, until until Grass. Grass was the very first time ever that it was uh, socially accepted that you could play more than 40 cards. Yeah, yeah. And even no. then... A lot of people still did not want to play 60 because 40 was just a number. And nowadays, everyone just does something. But 52, that's wrong. Like, yeah, I was yeah, thinking that he was playing like uh, three Pot of Desires, three Gizmec or something. And it was like the, the math for being able to resolve every one of them. And yeah, still have some cards in deck. But those, he... those have no place yeah. in this deck. Like, yeah, I didn't know what he was playing at this point, but from yeah. the se seven cards that I've seen so far, I can see this, this, and this work together, you know. But yeah, true. What does I'm the other? I'm curious what he's gonna send with Dark Crafter. Uh, nothing, yeah. because this yeah. game is done. Because <laughs> this card has uh, thirty-six attack. Oh. This card has uh, four four thousand five hundred. This card has three thousand attack. So this game is done. <laughs> yeah, I don't so, know what done so, turn one as well. Okay, guys. So if you play against this deck, right? What yeah. do you side? <laughs> you, <laughs> just, just, just imagine. Just imagine. You know, you're on the YCS. It's like round one or two because you won't see it in eight. But you know, it's round one or two, and you see this deck. You're playing against it, and you have to side. You look at your sideboard, and you're like. What the fuck do I side? You know what's going in 100% of the time? The hate shroomates. Just summon the set, set, activate hate shroomate, just win the game. But they're all continuous, so some of them can just stay on the field. Like, yeah, but uh, all the continuous cards he's playing. For in my opinion, seems, like... like all these cards are continuous, so evenly matched. And besides that, yeah. good luck. So just like back row removal and maybe a kaiju for if he <laughs> completes his summon? <laughs> I guess even then, like I, I, but at, at this point, um, neither Bo or we have actually quote unquote seen the field card, so we do not know that it also protects. So you, if he gets to summon it with the field spell, then we're in for quite a ride because then it's really difficult to get rid of it. You cannot target it. Cannot be destroyed by card effects. Then uh, probably this format, this deck is the very, very specific only thing that can out it because plunders get like. Fucking 5k attack at a certain point, but even then, it's super difficult. So, I just I just hope we get to see one of them on the field. And that would be fun. Over it. Oh yeah, just bolt sword over it as well. But yeah, Adamant doesn't play it, and neither does Invoked. Yes, Adamant yeah. does. It depends on the list. You do. I do. You never did. I played for oh, all fuck sorts you, this sick. doesn't count. Shut up. Your deck doesn't play that card. Uh, okay, Bo I don't, I don't sees everything he needs. He has everything. He has the plunder in hand to discard. He has the grave set up for next turn. Or, uh, no, there's no Loke, never mind. He has the booty, which is amazing. It's impermanence, so... Hey, it wasn't impermanence. We were talking about this, but with what this game was like. Like where uh, Remco just sets his traps. Oh, yeah, that's true color. as well, yeah. Uh, picking up the extravagance in 52 cards. Having no regards to Mechanite or Impermanence. <coughs> uh, but then again, you, you do not have to play around Impermanence if you're not going to summon anything anyway. No, true. But the extravagance was playing around Impermanence. Yeah, yeah he did yeah. that. No, but that doesn't matter because Impermanence is only for, like, if there's a yeah, monster. Yeah, I, I realize that, but. Oh yeah, he specifically, yeah. He does later in the duel as well. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, he flips his, you know, his traps in the standby phase. Of course, um, very good play. Um, Why? 
like I, I understand that it's a, it's 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 like the B sides tournament, you know, but bruh. <laughs> where did you yes. where did you find this guy? <laughs> I wanna fucking hang out with him. He looks like a lot of fucking fun, bro. Yes. So yeah, just show what you got. Yeah. I'm but gonna have to read this card. Okay, stand by face. Love it. Yeah, so level four or higher monsters cannot attack. Um what level is this card? Can I see that somewhere? Um, I c no right. Yeah, he's yeah. level two. Yeah. yeah, level two. You can read it right okay, at he's... the bottom right. Oh, he's level level yeah. two. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So he cannot yeah. attack. And he cannot summon any other ones for the rest of this turn, or uh, he cannot summon more than two, which is okay. Sure, I guess. So at this point, it's really difficult for Bo to make plays. Because there's no attribute, uh, but it's not Mystic. It's not Mystic Tomato. It's Phantom of Chaos. What? Um, I'm gonna have to read it. Just to... Your opponent takes no damage from but from attacks of this card. Once per turn, you can target one effect monster or creature. Banish the target if you do until the end phase. This card's name and original attack become that monster's name and original attack, and replace this effect with that original effect. You must control. This phase of card to activate and resolve this effect. So that so helps. So goes the ogre out. Yeah. Yeah. So ev <laughs> you mean every card in the game. So now that's funny because he attacked with white weird, <laughs> which is specifically not allowed. Crafty bind too strong. Konami, please. Whoa! Please there's more. an option in the extra deck to just special summon it and not overlay it. Just a tip. <laughs> so he summons Mork uh, attacking Boozy with Boozy. Mork Boozy. flipping booty for more damage um, what, what Again, is this forgetting to is there a level one. on here it's level 4 um, no it's on the other side so he no can it attack. has 4 stars it has 4 stars level 4 it has, it has 4 stars quote. yeah of course um he again forget the effect of Blackbeard. Yeah. Doesn't matter. So we're just passing turn and picking up another extravagance. So are you ready guys? Are you ready? Are you ready for what's about to happen? Oh to play. So many here, yeah. Uh, from the hand. Tributing three traps. What year is this? Um, it's the year of sometimes you have to go minus to go plus. About minus five. Cannot be Stand. normal summoned or set, must be special summoned from your hand by sending three phase of trap cards. You control to the graveyard, it cannot be special summoned other ways. This card gains three, a th or gains a thousand attack for each continuous trap card in your graveyard. So he's currently three thousand. Once per turn, you can target once it's spell trap card. Your opponent controls to destroy the target. Neither player can activate spell trap cards in response to this card's activation. So um, it's a free K MST. Yes. Nice. So, um, impermanence outs this. Something else outs this. Work outs this as well. Uh, yeah. It does. Um, yeah. If he attacks and he change, chains white bear to summon Bren because he has a fire now, the plunders are stronger as well. <laughs> so uh, this is not a real boss monster. So uh, Bo reads the card and acts quickly to banish it. Uh, big oof in the chest. <laughs> <laughs> and there you go. <laughs> Setting the card in the permanence column again. Effect field spell, and yeah, at this point, um, Blunder is just gonna do too much damage. On summon Phoenix Chain. Oh, yeah, it's not over yet. I forgot. Yeah. There's one more card that's going to be activated. Um, yeah. So we're just attacking a whole lot of damage. Yeah, right here is probably the worst play that could have happened. But I don't really know if it would have mattered. What do you mean? Yeah, he does extravagance for one, so it's just an upstart. An upstart. 
this but is the third extravagant. He has magic blender set. Yeah, he so just he... he just goes. They could have had could have drawn another card, yeah. But... He could have drawn two cards instead of one. What? And but he also had the dark summoning beast and the Hamon. Yeah, but he drew this of the pot, so I'm not sure. What... Oh, you cannot summon this. It's a level five. Yeah, yeah. that's why he's he's playing Mystic Tomato. Yeah, come on, <laughs> keep up. Yeah. Come, <laughs> Come on, man. I am unfamiliar. Were you sleeping? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I am unfamiliar with the sacred beasts. I mean, you could normal summon uh, Phantom of Chaos, uh, copy Yuria. Oh, Yuria's banished, never mind. That won't work. Yeah. It's sad. Uh, if he draws two cards and he picks up Greffer, he can special summon <laughs> Greffer by discarding Beast. Yeah, then, then summon <laughs> chaos to, to and copy overlay. Beast. Oh wait, to yeah, copy overlay, beast. Uh, yeah, and this no, there's there, there is gone. There is. Maybe is, if he didn't do the extravagance, he would have had like Utopia and Utopia double. He's you just playing know. three Dora, three Gustav, three. Yeah, they're all level Dora ten guy. now. Overlay and a super dimensional oh. robot galaxy destroyer. What's the fusion? What's the fusion? I'm right. It's like. Oh, do you not know no. it? That's like the three guys in one, right? Yeah, this, this card gains 10,000 attack <laughs> during your turn only. <laughs> that's it? That's it, that's its effect. Oh, but if you have it with the field spell, it's a 10k, cannot be Battle phase, no, destroy it. Attack on attack oh. declaration, infinite impermanence. Okay. No, it cannot be targeted by the field spell. Yeah. Uh, I wonder if he plays Polymerization. <coughs> I really wonder what's in this deck. No, I... it's a Contact Fusion. The card. What? You can you Contact Fusion. What? What? That's insane, bro. <laughs> oh my god. So you need all three on the field, and then you Contact Fuse. They have a 10k yeah, stick exactly. during your turn. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it, it gets support, like I have not read the support and maybe the This support, is like... the support. No, it's not. Yeah. This card. This, legal. this no, is no, support. This has been out. No, no, it's it... not. No, it's not. The new support is for it's... Ra. It's not. This is from the structure deck. There's no way Dark this... Summoning Beast from the structure deck. I've googled this during the game. I think Dark Summoning Beast... This is in... out! Yeah. yeah. This got released in uh, Dusa, I, think, I believe. What? Wait, I'm looking at card market. Then what is the support? Dark Summoning Beast, yeah, Dusa. Is the field like, the spell, the, what, the what was the field spell called? No, there was no support. The support wasn't legal. That's the whole point. Yeah. Oh, I get an He's... ad on my mobile. What is, what is the what is the field spell called? I don't know. That's something. But he said in a personal message that um, that he should have played another deck or, and, or uh, waited for the support for this deck and then play this deck. That's what, what he said. Yeah. yeah. So he wants to wait. Yeah. He wanted to wait. Okay, so um, yeah. yeah. We're going to end it there. <laughs> There's not yeah. much to be said anymore. Um, shout out to both of these guys. This video, it means no harm. We're just, you know, making fun because it's really, really funny. Like from the outside, watching this duel. Um, shout out to... to Team Hermelin. Team Hermelin. <laughs> 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 Shout out to if you ever are playing at a YCS and like this really really big guy comes up to you <laughs> and he has he's wearing a Team Hermelane shirt, just remember this replay. <laughs> just remember it and tell him that you're playing Plunder. <laughs> he, will, <laughs> he will beat the fuck out of you. <laughs> oh, well. uh, thank you guys for joining me on this commentary and I'm no really, problem. Really excited what the other duels will bring me. So, <laughs> we will see you guys in the next episode. Adios. Bye. Bye. <laughs>